Hey guys, so today's video is about something I've kind of talked about before, but I'm going to talk about kind of a different aspect of the same sort of topic. A while ago, about a month ago, a little bit over, I did a video called Let's Talk Content, Authenticity, Aesthetics and Being Real. And I basically talked about being real online and on YouTube and not kind of sticking to one genre because people are multidimensional and have tons of different aspects to them. So they should kind of explore all those aspects online in my opinion. I'll link that down below if you want to watch it. In that video I said that this was kind of a topic that wasn't really talked about on YouTube. But then Crab Sticks, Chris Kendall came out with a video and he talked about it. And a few other people made videos like Princess Anastasia, Dog Lolo Dottie, a bunch of YouTubers. There are so many more. If you just search Crab Sticks response or authenticity on YouTube or stuff like that, you're going to get a ton more responses than you would have when I made my video. So I was so happy about this. I thought I had to make another video, especially inspired by all the things that other people have talked about. So this is kind of like a part two to Let's Talk content. But I want to talk more about YouTube as a job and sponsorships and selling out kind of. So we will just jump into it. I want to give you a tiny bit of background knowledge. I've been on YouTube for about three years, a little bit over, and I've only recently hit 250 subscribers. And I see a lot of people who knew YouTube and within a year, they have 100,000, 200,000 subscribers. In their first three months, they've already hit 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, and I've just hit 250. And that's not a bad thing. I'm doing YouTube because I enjoy doing it. I find it really fun. I like being able to connect with people and of course having more people acknowledge and recognize what I'm doing and seeing something that I'm proud of is an added bonus and I do love it but that's not the main goal of why I'm here. And of course, I mean, congrats to those people who are getting so many subscribers in a short amount of time but then you find some people getting subscribers in that short amount of time who are kind of going about it in what I see is the wrong way. They're going on other people's videos saying, let's be YouTube friends, sub for sub, stuff like that. I kind of talked about a similar concept in things I'll never understand, asking for likes, which I will link down below, where it's basically if people are subscribing because you're only going to subscribe to them they're not really subscribing for you they're subscribing to get another number next to the name are they even going to watch your videos probably not they're just there so they have 500 rather than 499 and to me those subscribers are empty i'd rather earn subscribers from them seeing my videos and liking them and i'm fine to maybe mention in the comment yeah i've made a video but say if someone's talking about this kind of thing i might comment saying i love your points i really agree with what you said here i didn't really agree with what you said here i made a video talking about it more and something like that so they know I've acknowledged what they have said I've actually watched it I've actually registered what they've said and then I'll mention my video and that I don't really feel bad about because I am acknowledging that other people are doing things but I'm never I'm never gonna go on someone's video and just say great Vin do you want to be YouTube friends or I love this do you want to subscribe back to me? Because do I really know that they've watched my video? No. If they're just here to get another number next to their name, I don't really want to be a part of that. I'll watch you for you. If someone actually takes the time to write me a thoughtful comment and then say they make videos, yeah, I'll check their channel out because they're actually trying to connect with me, which is what I think YouTube is all about. Brilliant. My camera's going to die. And I also find that these new people on YouTube, they come on and they're like, how do I get famous? How do I get subscribers? How do I make money? That's not the purpose of YouTube. To me, it's an added bonus. I don't get paid for my YouTube videos. I'd probably only make a couple of dollars, but I haven't even hooked it up yet. And it doesn't really bother me because I'm here because I enjoy what I'm doing not to make money. Of course, if I did, that would be an added bonus, but that's not the purpose of me being here. And the purpose of me being here isn't to get 100,000 a million subscribers. It's because I want to connect with people. I want to make stuff I enjoy. It's just something I love doing. I feel like there are a lot of people now realizing this and realizing that a lot of the passion has gone through YouTube. So it does really make me happy to see all the passion and everyone who loves YouTube coming back to it and loving it because they love what they're doing, not because of the money they get. You can tell when someone doesn't really care about YouTube. They'll be throwing in sponsorships every like five seconds. Once they have a large amount of subscribers, they might rarely upload unless it's sponsored videos. And they'll upload a ton of sponsored videos and then like in a couple of months, one that they've just done and a ton of sponsored ones just because they're here for the money. And that makes me really sad because I don't want to watch people who are here only for the money. I want to watch people who care about what they're doing. And it just makes me sad to see people using this platform just to profit. I also find with sponsorships, so many people are just like, yeah, I'll just get my money. They don't care. Some YouTubers I watch, they're amazing. If they have a sponsored video, it looks just like any of their other content. Nothing's different except they'll say at the end, like this was sponsored or thank you to blah, blah, blah for collaborating with 
with me or like have it in a down bar but it still looks like their stuff and then you get other youtubers who'd be like i'll be talking about this now and i'll be like at the end oh guys thank you for watching by the way if you're asking i'm wearing this lipstick from this company it's long wearing it lasts 12 hours it doesn't smudge and it doesn't make any sense with the video or it's so obvious that it's an ad i generally skip past all of that even in the question and answer they'll find one question that's vaguely relevant to something they have to sponsor and then make this huge spiel about the sponsored product i'll skip straight past that i don't care if it's four minutes of the video i'm skipping it because it doesn't feel real and like i said in my let's talk content I want people who are real. I feel like now a lot of people are waking up to this and realizing that a lot of the passion and a lot of the love for YouTube is disappearing. Along with this sponsorship, I feel like people have also come up with like a formula to get views and there are so many YouTubers I watch and the person is different, but it's pretty much the same video, same colors, same filming, same concept and like tiny changes and different person, but it feels like the same video and I just keep doing that over and over because it gets some views and then views give some money and the views also give them sponsorships, which gives them free things, which gives them money. And I don't want to watch the same video of a different person like 20 times. I understand if something works, you want to keep doing it. But are there really so many identical carbon copies of people? There's like no uniqueness in a lot of videos anymore. I kind of suppose tags and challenges are a little different. But a lot of stuff feels the same because people are basically making the same thing. That doesn't sit right with me. Everyone's unique. Everyone should just explore what they want to explore. I mean, if that's honestly your style, go ahead. Sorry if things moved, the camera died. But anyway, I don't really remember what I was saying. Basically, I just think YouTube is really about doing something that you love and connecting with others and all that kind of stuff. And I'm really glad to see a lot of people on YouTube are recognizing this now and bringing it back and really encouraging it. So that makes me really hopeful for the future of YouTube because I think a lot of people noticed that it was kind of going to a bad, really commercialized place. I don't think there's much else I really want to say. Just, I really hope that moving forward from all this Chris Kendall business and this whole discussion, I just hope that YouTube becomes a place where people go back to what it originally was years and years ago. It's just about connecting with people because that's really what it is and sharing. I think that's everything I want to say. Let me know what you think of this down below just by leaving a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you can also subscribe below so i hope you all have a great day or night wherever it is for you and i will see you in my next video bye guys